Oh. Good, and go forward a little bit. Sorry. Yeah. Juanita, you see what we're doing here? We're using the nose as a little bit joystick. So right now when she turns left, his head drops. So what we're doing here is we're getting him to turn, when she turns left, to swing his body in. Good, Barb. And release. Good. So let's test it a little bit. I want you to do three or four left turns, okay? And then three or four left turns with your hand there. And then I want you to try one without your without feeding him. So you're gonna feed him. Same like what we did. Yep. And then we're gonna and then we're gonna see if he's connecting the dots. Okay, did you tell him heal or just sit? I said heal. Okay, he's not in the heal. So release, no food, just soft free. There you go. Okay, now gather him. Uh -huh. He was waiting for your body language. Okay, that's another lesson. Okay, so think about it. If you're gonna do less, you're kind of on the wrong spot, right? You're gonna run out of space unless you go to the end and try to do a turn left. So I would free him and come this way. Okay, so think about what you're gonna do. You're gonna, you're gonna, your hand's gonna be there and you're gonna feed him on the left turn. Okay, forward and left turn. Good, feed. Good, left turn. When you turn, I want you to twist that hand a little bit. It's like a joystick. There you go, and go forward. Keep going, one more turn. Good, keep walking forward. Take your hand, put it to your stomach. Left turn. And it didn't work. <laughs> he totally dropped his head. It's gonna take some work. Do me a favor, next time that happens, Barb, will you run him to the crate and make it, big, don't make it such a negative. You kind, oh, of, okay. you kind of dragged him by the collar, right? Yeah. He didn't do anything wrong, he just doesn't know. And I don't wanna, I don't wanna punish him for it. Okay. Okay. Oh, that was good, feed him for that. Good, and forward. Left turn. Oh, free him, feed him, feed him, feed him. Yes, yes good. Good, good job. You. Feed him again. Now you. put him up. Run to the crate. Good, for you. Yes. good crate. job. Good, good. So the other thing is you do, run to the crate and toss a piece of food in there. Okay. On your way there, just toss a piece of food. Like that. Hi, Juanita. Hi, uh, how you Did you work on fronts this week with them? Walked away. And then came back. Okay. And then I also worked on, um, for his uh, BN, sit, stay, and I go to the end of the lead. Okay. Is there a touch on that? Yeah, on the head. On the head, okay. Well, I'll tell you what, since we have somebody here, Barb, you have to leave at six, right? Uh, what? You have to leave at six? Ten. Six, ten, six, fifteen. Six, fifteen, okay. Um, at the same time I have to go, so. Well, let's, let's work on the touch then, so since we got somebody okay. here. Does that work? Okay, so bring him out here in the middle. Okay. Um, I know why I would say this. I love you. Next time, don't drag him over here. Okay. okay. You, you went from there over here, and you kind of tight leash, right? Okay. Just run over here. Play with him. It, it's supposed, this will be fun. Not, I'm going to have to yeah, do... Stop being so stressful. <laughs> exactly. Okay. I, got, I got the same lecture right here. He's not picking on you. I'm sorry, but you gotta you. But you gotta imagine. I mean, if you had a relationship built on somebody pulling you uh, around with by the ear all the time, yeah. I wouldn't want to go over there anyways. I I want him to run. Like, oh boy, it's a new exercise. Not, oh crap, what are we gonna do? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But you don't even realize you're doing it. I think you've done it for so long, so th that's why I'm not really harsh yeah. about it. Okay. So okay. she does a sure. sit for exam. So in a minute. She's just gonna, basically it's like the stand, but instead of touching the dog in a stand or on the withers, 
or the um, croup, yes. you're going to just touch on the head. Very, very yep, just as you walk by. Okay. 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 So the... uh, tell you what, nope, you're a judge, so you so tell you her. Tell me to uh, sit for exam. So to, just like you would a dance. So tell her, sit your dog and leave when ready. Okay. And she does this on leash. She walks the end of leash. So is there anything prior to uh, sit your dog and leave when ready? Nope. No. Okay. Sit your dog and leave when ready. Stay. Then you tell her you return your dog. Return to your dog. Exercise finish. Release. Wani, I really like that you're taking time when you return to her to gather yourself. I see a huge, like I saw you look at your feet, you're taking a very nice stature. Good job. But I did something wrong and you didn't hear it. Did you tell her to? I said stay twice. Well, that's what? I did a double. Did you tell him to sit and then you said stay? He was, yeah, I told him, okay, so sit, sit. I did, I went like this, stay, stay. Oh. Uh, I was turned so you probably didn't. Okay, so I did hear you, but I thought maybe you thought he was going to break. No, I, he, I don't know why I did that. Bad habits. It's okay. So there's only two. That's one thing I'd work on, and you caught yourself. The other thing I'd work on, and it's not even that big a deal. When the judge started coming up, he kind of started paying attention to her. That's an easy fix. We're just going to recondition that out of him. Okay, okay so, so I want him to focus on you. So go ahead and just leave him. I'll show you how we're going to do this. Stay. Okay, don't go so far this time. Do me a favor, Barb. Um, do you have food in your hand while you need it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Have a couple pieces. Talk. Hold on. No, you're you're gonna keep him, Juanita. Okay. As she comes close, you're gonna feed him. Okay, Juanita. Okay. Uh, judge, go ahead and feed. Good. Okay. Do me a favor, Barb. Don't touch. Just walk by. Okay. Okay. Ready, Barb? Walk by. Not yet, Juanita. And feed. Good. Okay. Uh, other side, Barb. This time. Ready, Juanita? And feed. Good. So basically what we're going to do is we're conditioning him. When the judge comes nearby, mom's going to feed me. Okay? That way he's not focused on her. Walk by again. And feed. Oh, look at Oh, you I, almost I, I missed your opportunity. Ready. It's okay. Next time just say, hey, not ready yet. Okay? Go ahead. And oh, that was excellent. Return him and feed him and throw him a party. Good. So, in the end, would you have lost any points for him looking? No. There's nothing in the rule book that says the dog can't look at who's going to touch me. However, if you have somebody that the dog thinks, oh man, who's that? I want to go see him. It's an easy condition to just teach the dog to ignore them. That way you never have the issue of, oh, I want to go see them. I ignore him. Easy yeah, fix. Because he is so uh, sociable. Yes. So, how do you teach the dog to ignore him? Basically what we did here, we, con we were conditioning. So if, if I'm her dog, okay, and I've been taught that every time somebody comes near me, there's going to be a reward. Okay. <laughs> You're a value of $5, but mom's a value of 20 I don't want to take my eyes off the 20 because okay. I'm looking at the 5 All right. Elvis. Okay. Um, you want to do a sit and then walk around the room? Yeah. Okay. So last time we put something behind him. Do you think we need to do that again, or do you think he's going to be okay? No, I think Okay, let's. Well, no, no. So, uh, last time we were afraid the dog's gonna break, so we had you hold the leash. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. she just wants to try it without. Okay, so, um, let's just you'll sit him, and then let's walk to that corner, to this corner, and then back to him. Okay. okay. So this is the. What do they call this? Is it long sit? Uh, yeah. That's what they call it. This BN is new to me, so I apologize. Okay. All right, so sit your dog. Okay, leave when ready. Stay. Exercise finished. Yeah, good job. Yeah, very good boy. So the only thing I'm going to comment on, you did really good. This is only for you. Stay there for a minute. Look that way. Okay. If I am her dog, uh -huh. okay, I'm, I'm on the wrong side. 
So, if I'm her dog and she returns to me, and I'm always thinking, oh man, the food's gonna, there's, there's, le there's left around there, or mom's gonna free me around her, I'm gonna likely to get up. So when you return to him, feed him right in the sit, right in your left. Don't have him come in front of you all the time. Right. Okay, that way he's- You told us that last it's, week. It's okay, I'm always gonna tell you each week too. Okay. Okay, it's that way he's not amped to come in front of you to get food. He's gonna be fed right, in the re right there beside you. Right. Even though, even though you're freeing him, technically it shouldn't matter, but you'd be amazed how quick the dog muscle memory, hey, which mom's gonna feed me, I'm so excited because I did really good. I was just thinking, would it help too for me when I say release that I go this way instead of always going to the right? Sure, but I think you should, I still think you should reward him right here beside you. Right. So Barb is kinda doing the same thing. If I'm, I'm gonna be Barb's dog again. Barb, stay there for me, Barb. So one of the things we notice with Barb's dog and I, I'll be honest with you, I taught her this, okay? What we're doing is we're releasing the dog into her. So when she'd say free, she'd back up. Back up, Barb. And I was coming, and I'm a dog, I'd come in front of her. Right. Okay, well what was happening is now, we did that, we overdid that. Now when she comes, when, now when she comes to the stop, the dog is coming in front of her thinking, oh boy, there's gonna be a reward. So now what she's doing, instead of freeing the dog into her, she's just freeing the dog, but she's feeding me right beside her. So now she's not ca inadvertently causing another problem. But part of that early training was to keep the dog in Yes, shape. that's, yeah, we, and we. I'm not so sure we should abort the whole thing. I don't think, mix it up. So oh. when, you, when Barb and I first started working, the dog would totally check me out. It was just, every time she'd free, the dog drop, and he just wanted to run out. So by freeing the dog into her, the dog was being free. Now I get to play with mom, and it really helped. Yeah. So sometimes okay. by fixing one problem, you're honestly kind of creating another thing. So always mix it up. 